Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel, it's me, Vanilla Soup. For a while now, we've known about Xbox's upcoming streaming platform, Project xCloud. And during yesterday's Inside Xbox show, the fine folks at Xbox detailed that the beginning and beta trials of xCloud will begin indeed in October, like previously mentioned, but they revealed that the signups are currently live. So if you're curious and interested in signing up for xCloud, I put a link to the signups in the description below, so check that out. And while there's a lot of reasons to be excited by this, I want to focus in on just a couple of them. Now, whatever your reasons are for enjoying or being excited for xCloud, let me know in the comment section down below. First major point I want to make is the future of Xbox. I'm really excited by the future of Xbox and where it's going to go from here on out. It's no secret that the team at Xbox more or less dropped the ball with the larger consumer base this generation. Not to say I didn't really enjoy some really awesome and great titles, the overall consensus has been pretty lackluster. Now I love Sea of Thieves this generation, I love Cuphead and a lot of other games, and so don't get me wrong, I'm a huge supporter of the Xbox company and brand and product that they make, I just know what the reality of the situation is. And this dropping the ball could mean a couple things to you. It could mean the drastic changes to the Halo series, it could mean the cancellation of a big single player game like Scalebound that you're really excited for and me too, whatever it may be, Xbox knows and they've come out and said that they are aware that there could have been more they could have done this generation to be on top like they once were. While xCloud doesn't initially fix these problems, it does show that those at Xbox are listening to what the fans and the market want. I remember back when the Nintendo Switch was first announced how badly I wanted to take the Master Chief Collection anywhere I go. How awesome would that be? The ability to have your Xbox games anywhere ensures that you are a little more invested in the Xbox brand. And that's a huge win from a marketing standpoint for Xbox. Working to take control of the market share for Xbox requires them to change the game, similar to how the Nintendo Switch shook things up on their end, even going back to handheld gaming in its beginning stages like the Game Boy. And I think xCloud is one of a couple things that Xbox needs to do to be back on top. Well, that and some more AAA single player experiences, but I don't mean to beat a dead horse here. And this leads me to my next point, the future of gaming. One of the biggest pulls to xCloud is that it won't be just for first party Xbox games. Microsoft has already talked about how they are bringing third party games as well, such as Tomb Raider or Destiny 2. And while I'm sure there will be many others, these games provide a very good glimpse to what the future of this platform could be. The possibility of the entire Xbox Game Pass library even anywhere I go is an absolute game changer. And this isn't just for current gamers. Think how many people have a Switch or a PlayStation and just don't have the extra sum of two to $400 at any given point to invest in a new console. With a subscription like xCloud and the smartphone or computer you likely already have, this isn't a problem anymore. I think about the three to four hours of downtime I have in between school and my day job. I commute to the city for about 30 minutes, I have class, and then I have a huge gap before my job starts. So driving back to my house to hang out for an hour is much less appealing than just hanging out in my car or a Starbucks playing the Xbox games I have on my phone. That's pretty much what I do with the Switch now, so bringing my favorite Xbox games with me anywhere too would be great. Which brings me to my final point the future of my favorite games. Look, I've been obsessed with Sea of Thieves since its launch. I grew up playing Halo with my older brothers, and the best bear and bird are currently on the Xbox. Just taking a closer look at Banjo-Kazooie, all the people that would love to play that game but don't want to shell out all this money for just one console for one game, all the support and gamers coming out of the woodworks to play that game means a stronger, more widespread community for us gamers to be a part of which in turn allows those developers to see just how many people truly want another Banjo-Kazooie game. But let's be honest, <laughs> Rare already knows we want it, and I made a video all about that. But this isn't just pertinent to Banjo-Kazooie, it could be to Sea of Thieves. Think about a bunch of new players taking onto the seas. More community support turns into more developer support in the end when they realize how much people want to be a part of this community. But that's it for me today guys, what do you think? Are you excited for xCloud? And if you are, what games do you want to try the most on xCloud? For me, I cannot wait to play Sea of Thieves wherever. But I'm curious to know what games you want to try the most on xCloud. Is it Sea of Thieves? Is it Halo? Is it Gears? Is it Banjo-Kazooie? Let me know in the comments section down below. And guys, thank you again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like on the video. That helps the channel a lot. And until next time, I'll see you online. Vanilla Soup, out.